okay, so because I have the banking background um, and then I've gone through some project management courses, so I just I thought I should delve into project finance as well. I've been, uh, I never knew much about project finance. I thought, as the name implies, you know, having studied project management from the initiation, you know, planning, and then, you know, execution and closeout. But the key thing now is project, project finance. So, um, so I just thought, let me, let me try and then know more about um, project finance. Uh, it's been mind blowing. Yes, I would say yes. Affirmative. It's been uh, above my expectation. I mean, I have to do a lot of catching up. Uh, you know, it's a completely different field. Uh, I know the basics, but you know, it's something that I also need to uh, to learn more. Uh, probably, if you guys have advanced classes, then I have to take up the advanced classes. So, uh, so early this year, uh, we wanted to embark on a project in Guinea, and then uh, I, we thought it was basically, uh, for me, I personally thought it was basic uh, project management would I would apply there. In as much as we tried looking at our, um, you know, risk management analysis of the entire project, it's still a construction company, construction uh, project in, uh, in Guinea. But I haven't studied um, project finance. I have been able to understand that there are key factors that we need to consider: predictability, you know, uh, predictable cash flow, uh, the concession. I mean, a whole lot of things that needs to be in place, especially when you are dealing with government and a national project as such. You know, I mean, I was just, I was just thinking there was no way we would have been able to. At that point, we were able to achieve, uh, you know, kickoff, and also uh, learning from project Dangote's story in a in a video that we shared, and a brief uh, review of the of his interview. Um, I mean, it was mind blowing that he had to start the planning from I think from twenty. 18 or there but it took him over six years to even do the planning uh, which is very very important and at the end of the day it was still corporate finance indeed as against the project finance the rigors of documentation and a whole lot of you know i was able to i was introduced to ifc uh, international finance uh, corporation and the whole host of every other all other uh, you know, stakeholders and the uh, you know developmental fund uh, finance institutions and all that there were new things for me uh, i've been looking at you know, getting to know more about this and that everything was really uh, brought out in clear terms for me and i'm really grateful okay so it's very important go for you have to study before the time, before the live sessions, I mean, for, for you to be able to catch up. Well, one of the things you guys did was to have advanced this, uh, the uh, um, the manual or the, the readable uh, courses. I, I want to get the exact time you guys uh, labeled it, uh, whereby you have to read ahead of time. Uh, it took us about uh, five or six weeks before the commencement of the live session you know, so make sure you study very well before the live session so that everything is made easy. The assignments and the, the inter be interactive, uh, you know, when you are doing, when you're doing the live sessions, the, at the group level also, and then also network, make a lot of people and then contribute. So that's basically uh, my own advice to anyone who's going to take this course. It's mind blowing session. It's value for money. I would say I would say that for free. It's value for money. Uh, I'm still catching up. I, I know I still have like three months to uh, go. Still go through the materials. I have to go through over and over again until actually I imbibe everything that has been said and, and thought in the course. Thank you very much, guys, for the opportunity.